everyone, we're doing another unboxing today. This is on the Warlord Games Bolt Action Conflict 47 game. And they've been kind enough to send us two starter sets. We've got the Russians, the Soviet Army. And the Germans. Yeah, and the Germans. And we, we haven't quite, well, I haven't decided which one I want to do. Well, we've only had a quick look at it so far. So it's, it's still up in the air as to what, which one we're actually going to go with. Just want to open it and have a look. Yeah. Now we have seen this before, we, we saw it at Salute, we've had a look on the website, we've had a brief look, um, there's a lot of interest in this game, um, we just haven't actually properly looked into it, we haven't looked at the rules, we're not going to look at the rules today, we're just going to look at what is inside these starter sets, and um, you know, we're going we're gonna to start building these and we'll actually play them on the channel I think. Yeah, you and me will we'll, we'll give look each other it. some games. Right, we get in the, and I didn't know you got this in here, this is the actual rule book. So, so does that cover the actual standard bow action rules as well? I'm not sure, because it's supposed to be like an add-on in a way. This is more of a weird war um, fantasy version of World War II. Mm -hmm. Um, so the, the miniatures can be used from what I've been told in bolt action. Obviously not the, the ones like these giant spider tanks or the, the jump trees, and stuff like that. but the basic infantry we can use across the game. So okay. we'll definitely be able to play bolt action and conflict 47 with some of these miniatures. The rules are quite expansive. It's a big game. That's 208 pages of rules. So we're going to have to probably sit down, read through that before we start playing it. Yeah. Or head on over to Warlord Games and have a go. Right, so that's the um, that's the softback Conflict 47 rulebook. We'll move that to one side because we're not going to go through that one today. Uh, what else have we got inside here? We've got a piece of card which is the play sheet which we can... Oh, that's... Is that actually a quick go over of just all the turns? Yeah. It looks like you can even cut out a ruler. <laughs> if you don't have a ruler, they supply you with two. Not bad. Good idea. Um, we've got the turn sequence. Yeah, all of the rules that are on here, all the reminder, the quick reference stuff, and the weapon charts, which are inside here as well. We've got dice. We've got some sort of metal miniatures. I think they're the heavy army unit, I think. Okay. We've got a Warlord Games catalogue. Uh, a small, just go through what World or Games do, because it obviously isn't just Conflict 47 or Bolt Action, they've got the Gates of Antares, they've got the Samurai game, we did that, uh, Test of Honour. Yeah, Test of Honour. And um, they've got Hail Caesar, Pike and Shot, Judge Dread. I've not seen that before. I haven't. That's really cool, looking forward to that. Um, Black Powder, there's a lot of stuff. World or Games are massive, they've been mm. doing it for a while, so they know what they're doing. We've got two bubble wrapped things. And then we've got a lot of sprues, a lot of sprues. Infantry, we've got bases, we've got weapons for these infantry. Really cool. I'd love to get extra ones of these, you know, to just kit up some guys and put them on tanks and stuff. Yeah. And then we've got a, a nice tank in there as well. And I have painted some of these Warlord tanks before, the resin and the metal ones, I think, but I've never done the plastic kits. Good quality though. This is the same level as GW in terms of the way that they're produced. Yes, um, definitely. The plastic kits are high quality plastic. We've got some transfers as well. Oh. So we've got some water slide decals. I'm talking about resin kits. We've got the instructions. There's no instructions on how to build anything other than the tank. Okay. Which is interesting. Um, but you've got all your bases, so we'll put all the bases in there. And we've also got these counters. Now, I'm not sure what they're used for because we haven't played it, but it looks like explosion markers. I don't know what these are for. Uh, is that what they stand in? Oh, I get you. These explosions go onto those. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. So this is why we have Mike, is intelligent. Um, in terms of miniatures, we've got 40 Soviet infantry. Um, and these, are, these sprues are packed full of detail. So the, the, the minute, the, this sprue's the standard infantry, isn't it? Standard infantry, yeah. So there's 40 altogether, and these are the ones that can be used in bolt action as well. And they're actually quite detailed. I was expecting them to be lesser quality than this, just because of the amount you get in the box. And these are normally, this is like £85 recommended retail price. Obviously you can find it cheaper elsewhere. Um, but they're high quality. They're high quality detailed miniatures. Yeah. So I'm just going to start popping these in the box while I'm doing it. I'm just going to have a quick look at that. And we'll move all those out of the way. That's a big chunk of miniatures. Yeah, they're very, it's very similar to the Test of Honor stuff. Mm. 
Next we have the medium tank, the T34 slash ZP medium tank. I don't know what that means. But again, good quality plastic. Looks like it will go together fairly easily. And the tracks don't look too them. bad neither. No, the Four tracks. pieces all together, so. Not like what I'm used to, which is like putting every single track on. This yeah. is going to be much easier. And you can keep these off the sprue and paint them separately and use your track washers and stuff from AK Interactive and then put it onto the model afterwards. So if you're airbrushing, you can airbrush the tank and do all your nice camouflages depending on what, which theatre of war it's from. And then you can, you can um, put the tracks on afterwards. No, that's, uh, that's all the, I think that's that's all the, the guns for the industry. Gun, Let's have a quick look at those there under the camera because I really like these. I love all these little pistols. I don't know what it is. If I could have a whole group with just pistols and all sniper rifles. They're nice. I've got a bazooka thing there. You've got the stands for all the long rifles and stuff as well. Yeah, and heavy weapons. Yeah, the final one, uh, before we go into the big walker, we'll get rid of the bases. Blister pack foam. Now I keep this for your painting because this is the best stuff for stippling on for weathering. Yeah. These things are basically like just giant tin man suits. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely one way of looking at it. Um, looking at it. They've got the Soviet stars on them as well, they're cool. Um, looking at it, obviously, there I haven't got the instructions for them, but it doesn't look like there's much to have to add to them. I think you've just got the two separate arms. They're really cool, I like them actually. So there's not much you, you have to worry about with them. Good quality metal cast as well. Yeah. And we've got five of those, so 40 normal infantry, five heavy infantry. Are these same poses or have we got different ones? Um, different poses? I think there's some slightly different poses. You say slightly, there's Are they all, is it five, three, it's not five different poses though, is it? I don't know. There's three different poses there, four different poses, five. Yeah. Five different poses. It's not bad. You normally get normally at least get one double. Yeah, and then finally, then for this set, we've got the this is the Cossack Light Walker. Mm. Is it? Oh no, this is the turret. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, that's the turret for the tank. I like that. I'm getting into this already. Yeah, it's really nice. I'm not even built a model yet, and I want to do loads of World War. I want to do bolt action as well. So that's our turret. I really like that. Let's move that to one side. And then we've got the walker. Now, I'm not sure how this goes together. It's very, um, you know, World at War there's of the no, World. There's not tons of pieces to it. They, uh, they don't look like really complex kits. No, which is fine. Just don't know how it goes together. I'm a bit special. I've got a huge gun yeah, there underneath like it. Like this. Oh yeah, it's easy to go together. So that will go in there. It looks like there's two different types of weapons as well, unless they get both. Yeah, there's two different types of weapons. Other than that, there's just two legs. Brilliant. So that's the, um, the Soviets. But let's put those away before I lose them, actually. Yeah. Because that will be disappointing. I think out of that set, out of that starter set, I, I actually like the heavy infantry more than I thought I would. I wasn't a fan of them at first, and I quite like them now. They're very, they are very World War II, almost like Fallout, you know, those Fallout suits. Yeah. You can imagine them walking around in those, speaking Russian as well, it'd be amazing. Um, we'll get them all out of the way. And because we've got two of these as well, me and Mike have both got an army that we can build together at the same time. And we've got the rules so we can both learn them without having, oh, that walk is cool. I really like that walker. Yeah, I think that's the Americans. Is it? I think it's the, that's the Americans or the British. I need the Americans as well. I think I should have done Americans. <laughs> Can't be my mind up. Right. Germans. Mm. I like that tank. And I like that walker. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's going to be difficult for you to decide which one you want to do, isn't it? I love the spider and the crab type tanks. They're they're brilliant. So um, the, the crab things are more more your thing, whereas the the bear, where bears, werewolves yeah. is mine. Yeah. But then I do like some of the um, I don't even know what you would call them. Um, the big walkers and stuff. Walkers. Yeah, but not like the crab walkers. Right. Like that. 
Yeah. Like this one here. You don't like that. No, that I look quite like that. I like that one more than the the um, Soviet one. Yeah, the one with two legs. Mm. Yeah. Because the Soviet one is kind of hunched over, whereas that one's like a proper mech suit. I think I think this definitely something we need to have a look at all the other extra bits you can get for it. Mm -hmm. Now these ones do come with instructions on how. No, they don't. No, it's just listing. They explain to you what's on the sprue though, which is nice. Mm -hmm. So a head covered in star helm, whatever that is. Um, oh, that's nice, and it's telling you about the German grenadiers. So as the war progressed, German officers dressed more like their men and less like a target for enemy snipers. Here, these officers have retained their crusher caps as a sign of their rank, which is intelligent. We yep. were only talking about ultramarines the other day, how they changed, the ultramarines changed the, the sergeants, put red helmets on, painted their helmets red because it used to be a sign of dishonor or something in yep. heresy. And then they thought, okay, we'll change all our sergeants to redheads to put off the enemy and think that they're not worth shooting taken from the Germans. Yeah. In real life. No, I pretend it's very, I think that's the zombies, I think. I think they're they zombies. Called? Totem corpse. Yeah. <laughs> um, I like this tank. The Pans, P, PZ410 is it? IV10, IVX? Yes. All right, we've got them. Um, how many troops do you get though? 24 grenadiers. Yeah, 24 grenadiers. So not there? as many infantry as you get in the Soviet set. So the Soviets must be very heavily infantry. I mean, I was watching Enemy at the Gates, is it? With Jude Law. Oh, and they basically send their men forwards, and I don't know if that's World War One or Two. that's really bad of me. But they send all the men out, and they only give them one rifle for every two of them. So one of them holds the ammo, the other one holds the gun, because there isn't enough guns. And then when they start to retreat, they just Gatling gun their own troops down. So I imagine Soviets have a lot more infantry because they can spare them. Very detailed, same as we said before, there's a lot of bags, there's a lot of extra rifles and clips and things on here. Different posed is on, oh, I like that, the ammo clip over the top of them. Yeah. And then all of it's the helmets. Nice. I think out of the two kits, I like the Germans more. Right, okay. But I like wear bears and the, what are they called, sisters of the motherland. The extra sets you can buy for the mm. Russians. As a starter set goes, I quite like this though. Yeah, all, all really detailed. Plenty, well, I'm not sure if there's a lot, you've got extra options or not on these mm. screws. Um, if you do, it's always a bonus. And also how you equip them. Do you have 10 with the normal rifles and one of them's allowed a submachine gun or are you allowed one with a rocket? We need to look at what you can actually equip these with. So mm -hmm. we'll probably read the rules first to find out. But that's the, the 24 Grenadiers. Um, same as the Soviet box set, you've got transfers, got the water slide transfers, and it'd be interesting if you can buy these separately because I'd like to put as many as possible on the miniatures because yeah. they always stand out. So if you can get extra transfers, that would be a good thing. We've got dice, we've got the order dice, and rather than being in the, the red of the Soviets, these ones are in the grey for the Germans. Panzer grey. We've got the... Blast tokens, blast tokens. what we, we think they are. And the bases. And then on top of that, we've got the extra part for the tank. So this has got three sprues. Um, mm, I like that. I'm doing Germans. You, you get wear bears. Okay. Yeah. 100%? No. I think I would like to do Americans more than Germans now. But I like the spider tanks and I like these tanks. So with these sets, though, are you going Germans and I'm going to go Russians? I'll do Germans. Just for the, for, these, for the starter for the, sets. For the starter sets, yeah. yeah. And I think maybe for if we do bolt action as well, I might either continue the Germans or do the Americans. I like the extra armour on these. I like the size of this tank. This is what's made the decision. Look at the size difference on that tank. It's such a chunky thing. And they had the big um, tanks in Well, these are just the medium tanks as well, aren't they? So I think there's even bigger tanks than these. Oh, exciting. And you can choose. It comes. Does it come with a turret? No, I don't know if it comes with the turret, so you can build it as the bolt, oh it must be that one. So you can build it as the bolt action one, or you can just attach that turret and use it as a Conflict 47 one. Yeah, seems easy enough. Yeah, which is fine, because I can easily paint that, I don't even need to magnetise or pin it, I just put that on there and spin it around. So yeah. that's, that's, that's easy enough to do. So that's the tank. Um, then we've got the Totem Corpse. 
And now I know how to open these. Uh, eight of those all together as well. I wonder if these are eight different posed zombies. So we've got two poses there. I think there's only, out of the eight, there's two duplicates. Yeah, out of the eight, there's two. So we've got those two. And you get two of them. The rest of them are all individual um, modelled zombies. I like him, he's got his goggles over the top. He's got his helmet and then his goggles. And he looks like he's had better days. Okay, so that's the, um, that's the totem corpse. That's really cool. Is this the crab walker, what's it and called? This is called? Spin light panzer mech? Yes. I like this. Or spinny? Is that spin or spinny? Don't know. I like this more than the walker from the Russians, for sure. Oh, I'm doing that wrong. That's the bottom, that's the top. Yeah, I wondered where he'd gone. So there's a little dude in the back of there. You've got your guns that go on the front and then there's four legs to, to pin into place. And I would recommend pinning this because it's quite heavy metal onto, the, onto that resin. Yeah, that's definitely more your thing, isn't it? With the crab legs and stuff like that. Yeah, as far as the, the walkers go, the Germans are definitely more for me. The tanks are definitely more for me. And I think I like the infantry, I just don't like the special stuff. Because I'm just looking at it, Germans can get zombies, werewolves, vampires. Yes. Um, and then I think they can get the weird vampires as well, which are like properly transformed. It looks like you've got the crab walkers as well. There's another. Crab walkers, yeah. And there's a huge tank. And I can't remember what it was called. It was like Thor or Odin or something, which is a cool name. See, on the tank. Russian side, we've seen the were bears. The bears are amazing. Yes, the bears are awesome. The bears are absolutely um, insane. What else is the, the... The Sisters of the Motherland. I think that's their name. They're really cool. Well, are they, are they are like a Conflict 47 unit, or are they a unit that was... Conflict nearing? 47, yeah. I think. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think what else the, the Russians have. I think, based on the Conflict 47 stuff, I prefer the Russians, because of... Only, only because of the, the Daughters of the Motherland, or the Sisters... Mm. I think it's Daughters of the Motherland, yeah. and because of the Werebears. I think I prefer those. But it's the walkers and all that sort of stuff, you prefer, the, you prefer the German ones? Yes. I prefer the walkers and the tanks from the Germans. It's so confusing. I think, I think we need to have a good look at all the other extra bits. And in terms of painting off. as well, you've got to think, because do you prefer painting the tanks and the walkers and the more elite infantry? Or do you prefer painting massed infantry? Because there's 40 of those Russians to do. Yeah. What would you prefer to do? Based on painting, would you prefer to do that army set for the Germans or the, the Soviets? I th mm, I'm, I, I'm really not keen on the crab thing, so I'm going to say Soviets. So you prefer to do Soviets? I think so. And you prefer werebears? Yes. Okay. Although, although werewolves are cool, but werebears. I'll do Germans then. You sure? No. Right, let's have a look at it first, I and mean, we'll have a good look, and then we'll get back to you and let you know which army each of us is going to do. Yeah. Let us know in the comments below which army you play, and let us know for bolt action and for Conflict 47, and whether you have the same sort of issues with certain miniatures, whether you prefer a certain type over another one, let us know about down below. And also, if we've missed anything, let us know. Yes. If there's any hidden cool stuff to do with a certain force. Because it's not just these two. I think we'd definitely be looking at the, the Americans and the British as well. Well, that's it, like, unless anyone else on the, on the team wants to like, join in with it and stuff like that as well, isn't there? There's I always that possibility. We definitely need all of the starter sets, don't we? Because there's enough of well, us. Well, currently, there's what? The, you've got the British, Americans, Germans, Russians. But the Japanese, I think, are going to be coming out and they're going to be really cool. Yes. You will instantly, as soon as the Japanese come out. Well, just going on, on Conflict 47 and what they, we might have in there is... I would like to see the Japanese. You're going to have some, like... Oh, mech suits, like mech proper gun damage. Yeah. Oh, if they did samurai-style Japanese World War II... Oh. I'm trying to think of monsters, what I thought they could do for the Japanese. Like proper Oni, you know, like samurai with the big face masks and stuff. Yes, yes, definitely. And They're, they could just have huge samurai blades, which are almost... You know, in um, Fallout, they had the lightsaber. It was basically a barbecue thing with a, a gas that basically turned it into a, a lightsaber, but a very mm -hmm. crude version. Imagine a samurai sword that the Japanese have hooked up with that. And they were very much on like charging at the enemy, no matter what, didn't they? They suicide yeah, yeah. and that sort of thing. Um, 
imagine having like grenades attached to the, the weapon so they hit something and just blow up. They could do all that sort of thing. That is my army. I need Japanese. Well, we need to find out when. Is, is there anything out there at the minute to the saying when they were due to be? I out? haven't looked. And if Warlord Games, if you are watching this, if you can contact us and let us know if you can about whether there's the possibility of Japanese yeah. for Conflict Forty Seven, or if we haven't even we haven't looked yet. We don't know if there is already on the website. We need to have yeah. a look. And same for Bolt That's Action. If the Japanese are in there, because I'm definitely up for doing a whole army of them. Oh yeah. And I don't think there'll be a choice, if, you know, they'll just be, I'll, I'll choose that. Whereas at the minute it's up in the air, which one do I want to play? It is, the, it is the difficult one because we need to have a look at the entire, we want to have a look at the entire range mm. to see what is available as to, as to what's going to suit us best or what we're going to prefer to actually work on. But the problem is it's all good. Like there's something yeah. from every single one of these armies that I think that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. So it's difficult because there's so much choice. I don't think you combine. I don't think it'll just be, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be getting a bit weird if you start combining them. Yeah, I'm going to take the walkers from the Germans yes. and then put them with the infantry from the Soviets. And I'm going to have my suicide samurai for... That's what they could call them. Suicide, suicide samurai. Suicide samurai. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think that was everything. We could have Suicide like Sam. It. They could do a, a samurai version of me and call him Suicide Sam. Not yes. that I'm suicidal, but <laughs> yeah. as a Japanese warrior, that's amazing. All in all, I'm pretty excited to do I this. I am. Even, you know what, even with all this 8th edition Games Workshop stuff that we're on at the moment, because yep. there's a heavy, we're doing a lot, aren't we, for Games Workshop, trying mm -hmm. to, to do our armies for that and play 8th edition. But even this, I just want to go home and build these now. Yeah, well, the, well, the Chronicles are end uh, up at the end of next month. Well, every, yeah, at the end of July, I don't know when this is going out, but by the end of July, we'll have done our 8th edition armies. Yeah. I, I can't see me not building some of this tonight. <laughs> All right, okay. Well, I was thinking that by the time we've got the, the, our, these new, the new 40k armies we're doing, the time they're done, it may open up some space for us to jump on this then. Let's have a quick look in the book. Yeah. We won't do the overhead because I can have a proper look through. Um, yeah, look, look at those tanks. Actually, I will do the overhead. Look at that. Hang on, has this book Neck. got all of, the, all of the models in? Oh, never thought this about that. This may make what are they? What are they? Russian, Soviet oh Union. <laughs> They're like crazy vampire. No, fueled by chemical fluids that replace their blood. Siberian terrors of Tylus and Savage Hunters. Hold on, Mike. They've got, I think, I'm not sure if they've got all the units in there. If they have, that'll be good. Um, we've got loads of different scenarios for playing the game. There's loads of rules. German heavy infantry. And they're cool as well. The problem is they've scattered it throughout the book, so I'm going to have to go through. That's the Soviet tank that I like. So this thing, I don't know what it's called, but that was described to me as a fortress with crab legs. Soviet heavy infantry armour. That's the ones you get in the star set. Mm -hmm. I do like these almost like blueprint style yeah. pictures. There's rules for building. That's what I do like though. Kodiak Walker. That's the, the American one. Look. That's cool. So in terms, like in terms of walkers, that's my favourite walker. And I'm not... Uh, these infantry, these heavy infantry aren't as good as the Soviet heavy infantry. So I mean, I'm Although, so mixed. I think... I think I prefer that, that heavy infantry to the Russian heavy Really? To the Soviet I, heavy, see, I prefer the Russians infantry. by far. But then you've got the German tanks. You've got arcs, so different arcs of fire. I'm not a fan of the, the Russian, the Soviet walker compared to I the don't rest. think that's too bad. I would sooner it had arms or something as well. Or like or turrets <laughs> on the side. <laughs> I'm building mine like that. This thing, look at that. The light it does look quite Panzerbeck. cool. Just like stepping over like a proper spider. That's really cool. That's, I, yeah, that, I like that. Yeah, the what U is that? that's the Mudskipper, that's the US. That's what I'm saying, the US have got some really cool stuff. <coughs> it's between Germans and Americans for me. And here we go on to some German skeleton zombies attacking yeah. Americans. Um... There's a lot in this book. Another, another, they've got another American walker, the M8 Grizzly. 
Oh, the walkers do look quite well, That might cool. not be American, actually. M8 Grizzly. Grizzly sounds like it should be a Soviet one. Oh, it is a Soviet. Is it a Soviet? I don't know. Uh, I'm not 100%. British machine gun team can shoot at any target within this arc. <laughs> Just <laughs> everything. Soviet armor advancing. German heavy armored dudes. There's the German half tracks. That's what I have painted before. Yeah, I remember you doing that. But look at that tank in the background, that German tank. Yeah, this is, I think this is going to be the difficult thing. It, it, at this point in time, it's reminded me very much of when I was trying to pick a, an 8th edition fantasy army where it was the core stuff wasn't, I wasn't that keen on, but the rest of the army was cool. What's that? that Kodiak again, the US one. It looks a bit different. Well, it might just be a different colour scheme, maybe. And this is telling me the background as well. Wow, that's really good. Because we don't really know background, we don't know history. That is between, what, page, so conflict 47 background, between page eight and page 29 is all of World War background. It goes by the month, it's not even every single, oh it is, it's going through the months and the year. Yes, yeah. that's what was World War background, and then it says March 1947, this is now. So that's where it leads on from, so yeah. in 1947. Um, but obviously they've got a, They've got to start, where does it start with being weird stuff? I don't know, I imagine they're going to cover it somewhere in there. Oh, it's definitely, this is the whole conflict. 47? No, this is the conflict background. <laughs> this is all of it, so it isn't bolt action. I was thinking it might do World War II and then tell you where it changes into conflict. Right, okay. But it is a completely different background and that's the explanation of how everything happens. So I'm going to have a read through that at the beginning. Good job, it's yep. at the beginning of the, oh look at that, British Galahad heavy infantry armour. So that's based on that's the, cool. what's it, Knights of the Round Table, isn't it? Galahad was one of the knights. Possibly. I think he was. He's got a werewolf in the top corner as well with a gas mask on. <laughs> He's got a Shrek Wolfen. <laughs> he could have just been called a Wreck Wolfen. <laughs> just destroy things. I'm excited about this. That's the German. That's the Zeus, I think. It doesn't look that big, though. Isn't, no. isn't that meant to be a massive thing? Mm. I do kind of like the Soviet one more, but the Zeus is nice. I could do two of them, two big Zeuses at the back, just blowing things to pieces. Mm -hmm. Absolutely awesome. Definitely. So thank you massively again for that one, Warlord Games. We appreciate that. Uh, if only just to have a look at it. And um, I'm going to say I'm annoyed, actually, because there's so much good stuff. Yeah, so now I'm confused because I want it all. I definitely um, can see us doing a full campaign of this. And we've got the two starter sets, but we could probably get Phil and Rachel, Dave, Pink, or there's a lot of us that could all get involved in a campaign. I think so, yeah. And I think I would like to do the bolt action as a campaign and then do Conflict 47 as one as well. Yeah. Cool. Right, sorry about that. It's been a long one, especially when we started looking through this and getting confused. But um, if you enjoyed the video, give us a like. Um, leave the comments below on anything about the video and also what you like and dislike from the game. And if you're going to be interested in picking this up as well. Other than that, we'll uh, see you on the next unboxing. And thank you for watching. See you.